Help the chicken along, and especially if you're a pyromaniac, it's a lot of fun for the fire. You take this chicken in here, and you can use some sort of an acid. You can use wine, you can use lemon juice. Since this is a Caribbean type of chicken dish, we use beer, okay? And you put the beer in, and you let the, yeah, you let the flame catch it, and it helps it along. And fire is the coolest thing. Hi, I'm Maria Viegas, and today we are making grilled chicken with brown sugar peanut spice rub. Get ready. The grilled chicken with the brown sugar, and I chose three cuts of chicken. I'm sure that they, they, we want them on a bone because they taste so much better because the bone gives it so much flavor. Chicken thighs, which are like the best cut of the chicken going on. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make the spice rub for the chicken and then we're going to coat it. Same thing we're going to do, we're going to do with this chicken breast, okay? We've got a big breast here. So we're going to cut, <laughs> we're going to cut a big slit and a big slit. So it'll get, so the spice mixture will get inside, okay? All right, the spice mixture. And we are going to do brown sugar. And we do quite a bit of brown sugar. We have ground dry roasted peanuts. And what I did was just, you just buy regular dry roasted peanuts. And then what you do is you put, you put them in a food processor. And you just get cayenne pepper. Okay, because you want the heat. You definitely want the heat. And you have enough brown sugar in there where it's going to offset the cayenne. So it's, it's, it's really good. It, you know, we just added chili powder. And now we have... Um, Okay, and then we're going to mix it all up, and this is going to coat our chicken. And honestly, I wish we had smell-o-vision right now because it smells so good, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your chicken, and you're going to, we're going to do one thigh, and we're going to do one breast. And we're going to coat it really good, and we want to get it in those cavities that we cut those deep cavities in. We want to get it all in there because it's, it's, be, it's going to be awesome. Our chicken, and we have a cast iron grill that we put on the stove, and we want it, you can see it's hot, 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 and that's what you want it to be. And we put a little vegetable coating on there so it won't stick, and that's what you want to hear. You want to put your chicken down, and oh my God. I can smell it. And then what you do is, what you're doing is, visually, you want to put your chicken at 2 o'clock. Okay? Picture a clock. And you put the point of the chicken at 2 o'clock. Okay? So you're going to do that, and then let's do a big chicken breast. Okay. At 2 o'clock. See, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And then you're going to leave it. And you're going to just let it the grill marks really I'm supposed to put your chicken at two o'clock you visualize a clock and you take the point of the chicken whatever part you want and it goes at two o'clock and that's how you're gonna make grill marks so you want it hot you want it to sound like this you want all of the smoke and the smell and the whole bit okay and then you're gonna let it sit for a few minutes because a lot of times people well, they flip, they flip, they flip, they flip. They take meat and they flip it back and forth. And it's like, why, why do you flip meat back and forth? Just leave it alone for a little while. It'll be okay. Okay, so what you're going to do... It is, it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you are going to turn it to 4 o'clock. Okay, two o'clock, four o'clock. Burnt, charred stuff, that's where all the good flavor is. And you see how the fat from the chicken's coming out? Okay, so we're gonna flip these over. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish these in the oven after we get the good sear on this. Because what we're doing is we're searing in all the juices. 